Hi, Nana here. This is a short video on how to use the C cleaner actually. The instance is really very sensitive and then if there are some cookies and other unwanted junk files, what happens if you even fail? So what happens is that you better run this program on a frequent basis once in a week or so. So if you go there in your place, what happens, you'll be finding one ccleaner underscore setup dot exe. You just download it now. And then after having done this, what happens, you run it now. I need to run like this one. If I double click on it, <clears throat> when you double click on it, what happens, it will now say you, do you want to, uh, there's a new version available. Fine, don't download it. Fine, give a note to this information. Fine, you use the existing one. The version 2.03 is itself is okay. Now uh, 5.59 has come. Uh, I don't think it's required, but what happens, you can just say no. If you feel like yes, also it's okay. It will not have harm you as such. I give a no now. And then click on the analyze button. So click on the analyze button at the bottom. Fine. Once when you analyze it, there will be so many junk files will be there showing you what are the temporary files, cookies, histories, etc. etc. All these things will be identified and shown to you. And then on the right hand side, it will be having a run cleaner. So once when the analysis is complete, the run cleaner will be coming on the right hand side. Click on it. You're going to clear it now. So it will not say how many is now removed now. Then afterwards in the left hand side, what happens is the second one is registry. First is cleaner and then next one is registry. Click on the registry. And then scan for the issues in the registry. Scan for the issues in the registry. There will be so many issues will be there in the registry. So this also you fix it up. Click on the fix selected issues on the right hand side now. I click on the bottom. Click on the it will now say, do you want to take a backup now? So I say no to this now. No, no backup is required now. So see to it that you say no. Otherwise, there will be so much of a junk will be again going to the registry. So do you want to backup changes in the registry? Say no. Click on no now. And then there will be so many issues. Click on fix on all the selected issues. It will all be fixing. And click on OK now. So by which it will be getting fixed, is it? So by which, and then afterwards restart your machine. So then what happens, you'll be having a clean machine and then uh, try in the Mozilla browser also. Fine, if, uh, if this is not working or try in the Internet Explorer or try to have some other browser also. Uh, and then uh, sometimes uh, uh, Chrome uh, gives you a problem basically. So uh, you can try in Mozilla, Mozilla is also a better browser. <clears throat> so by now, then you'll now see you in the next video. Bye. <clears throat>